Our Lord said to them, Go ye into the whole world and preach the gospel to every living creature. Silence is a film riddled with symbolism, not only in its explicit use of holy objects, but also in its cinematography, screenwriting, and allegory. Silence is a prolonged passion project of director Martin Scorsese. He prolonged the early stages of production because he felt unfit to take on such a daunting film. In 2016, the film was released under Scorsese's direction, and man is it amazing. The film, based on the novel of the same name, tells the story of two Portuguese priests, Rodriguez and Garupe, who traveled to Japan in the 17th century to discover what happened to their missing mentor, Ferreira, who reportedly committed apostasy after being tortured by the Japanese government. When they arrive on the shores of Japan, they find villages full of peasants who had converted under the guidance of previous missionaries. Because it is so dangerous to openly practice the religion, the two priests must minister to these Japanese Christians in the dead of night, hearing confession and celebrating mass under the cover of darkness. Holy objects play a key role in the narrative of this film. When the Japanese Christians are discovered, they are given a test by their inquisitor antagonist. They are to step on a religious image to symbolize a denouncing of their faith. If they do not do what is asked, they are gruesomely executed. This opens up an interesting theological dilemma, as it were. It would seem that to simply step on the image and avoid death, but still inwardly hold on to your faith, would make sense. But for these people, who have almost no physical connection to their faith, the symbols of religion represent everything they have had faith in. And to give up these symbols or to disregard them would be to give up their faith. And for some to become a martyr for God and go to paradise would be better than staying in this hell created by their persecutors. Martin Scorsese directs this film with such care and fragility. It seems as though each shot was perfectly planned out during the 20 year pre-production period. The film's cinematography takes on a symbolic analysis of the situation at hand. When the characters are in distress, the camera pans violently. When Rodriguez is caged by both his adversaries and his mind, the camera frames the events between the bars of his physical cell. When Rodriguez feels lost to God, the camera peers down on him from above, at almost a godlike perspective. Rodriguez, our protagonist, is likewise captured and faced with the same dilemma as his Japanese counterparts. When Rodriguez steps on the image of Christ denying his faith to save fellow believers who are being tortured, we hear a rooster crowing. This is a reference to the similar denial of Christ by Peter. Hey guys, I highly recommend you watch this film. It was, in my humble opinion, one of the best films in recent memory. Um, it is truly thought-provoking in more ways than I can discuss here, so go see it for yourself. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.